Hello, Tansei, bonjour, good morning, everybody. Dal Sarkan here with Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Uh, it's a little bit of a late start today uh, to this today's program, and I'll tell you, uh, well, kind of a few things that uh, occurred. Uh, I was uh, actually, for the past week, I've been burning the candles at both ends, and um, this morning I actually slept in and Part of it too is I was under a lot of stress from doing a, a grant. I've, I, I've, so if you guys know anything about writing grants, it, it does take a lot of uh, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, thought processing, a lot of thought power, a lot of uh, time, thinking power, and it just takes a lot of a lot out of a person when you're uh, applying for a grant. On top of that, I was doing power dance aerobics all week, and I was exercising all week, like working out, going to the gym and uh practicing dancing music and then just um you know it, it 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 didn't hit me hard but my normal sleep pattern i i just i think i just listened to my body and and just allowed myself to sleep and rest uh sleep in a bit and you know just get recuperated because i got a more busy weeks coming like i got a couple of shows coming up a couple of really big shows i'm going to vancouver um in a, in a week's time so uh i'm also going to um to to do a halftime show for the calgary roughnecks so that's another big show and i got another deadline today so uh yeah I, uh, so today's theme friday you know uh, a lot of us we got to get stuff done right we it's the end of the week right we got to we're summarizing our entire week or we're we're taking our workload and, and and getting it ready for the next week or whatever it may be but hey man friday um that's why i titled it uh, always on the grind to get to your goals because you know in order to get to your goals you got to push yourself right you got to push the envelope you got to push just like in working out and exercising that's a goal in itself that we do here on a regular basis and that's what powwow dance aerobics is really all about grinding and getting to your goals and then uh, i've seen that some of you have shared uh, on how this program has helped you get uh, uh more lean more fit and more healthy so that's that's the bottom line here is just to continue on that trend here and continue on that uh constant flow of uh progression and progress and growth and all that uh, amazing stuff so anyways the good news is that i did finish my factor grant it's for a dj crazy cree album uh i could actually show you guys uh real quick here i have to think where where might my dj crazy cree album be so um uh, i got a new one so i'm gonna show you guys here real quick you uh i think you probably only hear it i don't want to give too much away too quick so i'm going to just show you guys on the computer here uh the new dj crazy cree sound uh my son uh dal sarkan jr actually did a lot of the editing and uh, work on this and we're doing a collaborative effort here to to uh basically uh write this song and and produce this song so that's why i applied for a grant too because we have a whole team that is part of this project because you know it's always better to do it as a team to you know and, and anything you do just just for future references it takes more than just me to to do a lot of these performances that i do uh a lot of these projects that i do it's not like all driven by me like sure i might be the front and the front man of it but it, it takes like the whole band to play a song it takes the whole team to accomplish a project so that's what we're working on right here so if you look on any album you'll always see a list of people that have made that music possible so just so you know that it's not so if you're buying um uh for example bruno mars or something or you're you're buying like a johnny cash album look on the album credits uh, how many people is involved in making music and making projects happen so anyways here's here's the new song it's called naka cha and it's featuring stan arkan jr it looks good that you're dancing here so here i'll play it for you guys it's very good that we've come again to have fun you've come once again to powwow and it is very beautiful that you are here to dance it looks good that you oops sorry 
I wanted to uh, look at that while I, I uh, did that. So anyways, I need to show you guys real quick here just what the, the visuals look like for this. Uh, get back to that song. Sorry, I cut you guys off. There we go. So we incorporated Cree language in there. Okay, here it comes. It's pretty much what it means. So there you go, there's a, a sample of the, the new works that I'm working on. So yeah, I, I just thought I'd give you guys, give you guys a quick sample of uh, what's going on and look at all this work we did though like this is a lot of work like this is this is just the marketing side of it so like how many pages of research we had to do and just a lot of uh finer finite details of uh, the marketing grant and we actually used uh, some data from before that we had on a previous marketing grant that we did so anyways there's a lot of information um <laughs> And it's a lot of work, man. That's why, that's why I respect grant writers, man. Like, unfortunately, my grant writer wasn't available this time, so uh, I, I had to kind of do it myself. And uh, not just myself, but I had some help too. So uh, I, I used previous templates. And then the, the people at Factor, they're really helpful. Uh, I, I just, communication is key. So anyways, <laughs> let's get to some powwow dance aerobics. That's what I, really what I'm here for. Not, not to tell you every little detail in my life, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Like it's the Friday grind. I got the, got the grant done and now it's time to celebrate and dance. That's the whole point here. All right, so let's get some powwow aerobics started. Let's get some, let's get that heart rate going. Let's get, uh, let's get our blood pumping and, and give her, all right, so here's the first song. Nice, easy song. All right, nice, easy one, two step. All right, victory dance time. All right. Nice, easy step. All right, left, one, two step, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, 
Pretty good. Oh, and we got a crow hop. Okay, this is a good warm up. All right, so we'll just alternate our feet back and forth, jump nice and high. You can even do jumping jacks to this. a lot of work man uh, crow hop but there's just some exercises you can do to increase your core strength to to feel the burn I don't know if you guys felt the burn if you're following that I certainly did my legs are they're just burning right now so if your legs are burning yeah that and then also you're exercising your core by doing that as well so when you do that to a song especially to a crow hop you know and then also you're using your stabilizer muscles to do this and you're also controlling that core as well so it's always about the core so you don't necessarily always have to do uh, 
like crazy workouts, crazy uh, weightlifting, weight training, you can get that same full body workout just from doing powwow, powwow practice, powwow dancing, powwow dance aerobics. So anyways, uh, I'd like to get into some, some stretching here. See if I can remember my, my time here. Okay, 156, got it. Okay, so we'll just do, uh, we're just gonna go do a cool down right now. Meditate, gravitate to meditate and elevate your conscientious, your consciousness, everything. When you meditate, a lot of times when our elders, they pray, you'll see them, they'll, after the grand entry, they do a invocation, they'll pray. And they're not just praying for one thing, they're praying for everything. They're giving thanks. They're praying for the people that have come to celebrate. They're praying for all the people around the world that need healing prayers. And they have specific things they pray to as well, as uh, they say to the Creator. They say, thanks for bringing us on this day. Thanks for the gift of the life of another day. As well, we, we pray to the spirits we, uh, we dance with, uh, you know, the eagle, the buffalo, the bear, all the living things, all the creatures, all the, the insects, the, all the, the birds, everything, they, they pray in the four directions. So that's really our form of meditation when we say those prayers, when we think about those things. So yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff. So anyways, let's do some stretching now that we're kind of uh, in a more relaxed, peaceful mindset. You know, saying those things in itself is a great manifestation when we say, hey man, the world needs prayers, right? You know, all those people in BC experiencing flooding right now and Washington, you know, Washington state, you know, we're all kind of on the same continent, same territory, Turtle Island. And so we got to pray for each other. We got to help each other. And it's good to see. I've been watching some of the news online about this and it's really good. So anyways, we're doing some stretches right now. So this one is uh, isolated in the back. Try to pull your hands apart, but don't actually pull them apart. This one will help stretch the upper shoulder blades and you'll feel it as you go. And you might just want to give it a little twist from left to right like this, back and forth left to right there we go awesome oh yeah i felt a nice little little uh crack there in the back that's good awesome so uh anyways uh, uh the next stretch from here we're just going to focus on on keeping your arm straight pulling it towards your chest this one stretches the shoulder and the tricep muscle it's really good for that area and then when we go to here same thing keep the arm straight stretch that tricep muscle out and uh, this also helps improve the circulation to your hands, to your arms, everything. Like just these stretches alone does a, wor a world of wonders. So next we're gonna focus in on the neck muscles. So this one, you just simply let the weight of your head do this stretch for you. And typically you only wanna do about 10 seconds per stretch because there's such thing as overstretching a muscle. And that could be done in uh, a few different scenarios. So one of them being stretching, if you stretch too long in one area, that's considered overstretching. So right now I'm just doing a head roll from shoulder to shoulder and I could feel the soreness in my neck still from uh, like a, a, the stress that I endured recently. And I, I, I got like a sore neck for about a week, but now it's, it's starting to get better though, like uh, with rehabilitation, uh, rest, and uh, proper stretching. I even went for a massage. That uh, I don't really go to massage therapy too often, but uh, uh, I'm starting to see the value in it now. And there, there is a lot of value in massage therapy. That's why there's a profession for it, I guess. You know, it, it wouldn't be a profession for it if, uh, if it wasn't valid, you know, for sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this back a little bit here. It's kind of in my way. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna do some stretches for the core now. So this one, you just keep your feet planted firmly and then just rotate from left to right. There we go. 
left to right, and then you lean forward, and same thing there, just do a nice little left to right, and backwards. Oh yeah, I can feel my body cracking and and like realigning. So when you when you crack, it kind of like crick, cracks back into place, right? So it's kind of does that. So anyways, this one's uh, the last stretch for the upper body. So put your hands behind your head, aim your elbow to your knee, and hold. Oh, nice, I felt a little pop there too. And back up. And same for this side. Oh yeah, that feels good. I could feel it in my hamstring and my core. So I felt it even to my neck right here, core, and right down into my hamstring, my inner thigh. So that's really good. Okay, awesome. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning and good afternoon if you're out in the East Coast. It's, uh, or the Eastern part of Canada, Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, um, good morning to you. Okay, so we're gonna finish stretching now. We're stretching the lower body, starting by the ankle. This one's just a simple uh, rotating around and around. And this really helps. You can even do this stretch routine, like if you're working right now or you're at the office. Uh, it, it's good to get up every 20 minutes and, and do a little stretch for your body. Maybe take a walk, do, do a lap. Like you can kind of program yourself to do that on a regular basis. So one hour of work, you should get up at least two times to have a, a stretch and a, and a kind of, a, you know, re, re, rejuvenate the circulation, if that makes any sense to you. You know, rejuvenate your, your circulatory system. Your, uh, your blood needs to move, eh? Hey? Because stagnation is no good, man. Even in water, if water sits stagnant, then it turns ugly, right? And it doesn't have, it, it, you know, that's how lakes die because of stagnation, right? Like, uh, we have a dead lake on our reserve. And part of the reason why it's dead is because it, it got choked out by everything and there is no circulation uh, keeping it alive. So same thing for the human body, you know, if there isn't circulation, uh, you know, same thing for our earth. If it doesn't turn, um, there's no gravity, right? So stagnation is no good. Everything's always moving. Got to have that movement in life. That's why dance is a good form of that movement. It's so good for that. It's it's so awesome. So anyways, uh, just gonna finish up some stretches now for the legs as I was doing on the lower body there. Oh, and thanks for the stars, by the way. Uh, that, that's been really cool. Like, cause every few months I collect enough stars and uh, Facebook actually uh, gives me like, uh, gives me like dividends from that, like from stars. Like it's not a lot, like I'm not getting like a, a lot, but it's like tips, you know? It's like I'm getting a, it's like I'm getting tips, right? Virtual tips. I see some artists, they do virtual tip jar or whatever, but Facebook has a system for that called Facebook Stars, which is cool because they also register it with the government. So like I'm not making money under the table and it's, and it's not a lot. It's like over three months it might accumulate to like 150 bucks or whatever. So that, that, that helps. That helps me to stay current and upgrade my, my systems here. Uh, right now I'm looking at investing into uh, a better setup so I don't have to use my iPhone camera all the time. I have been doing this whole year just using my iPhone camera the whole time for Palo Dance Aerobics. So uh, I'd like to graduate that into a more specific camera for social media or uh, uh, it's called vlogging. They have special cameras for, for vlogging and that's an, essentially what this is is that it's a vlogging system. So anyways, we're, we're done our stretches now. I'd like to do some exercises now. So uh, if you guys have a little weight, a five pound weight or any any weight would do, um, even if you have a four liter milk, milk jug, it's probably the equivalent to this five pound weight here. So this is a, one I bought from the dollar store. Uh, it was probably only about two, three dollars maybe, and it was cheap. But it's a good investment because you can incorporate it in different ways. So I'm going to show you one way how to use it. So this is called a side lunge. It's where you like lift this all the way up and then 
you step sideways like this, lunge out, and then back up. So you could do 10 of these, so there's three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna try the other side now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Oh man, I can feel that already. Shoulder and the core and every everything in between, kind of that. And also <laughs> it exercises your legs because you've seen the range of motion, right? I'm, I'm essentially going about seven feet in motion. So that's because I'm six feet tall and that extra foot. So that's about a seven foot range uh, <laughs> glide based off of the angle and the calculations are correct. <laughs> I sound like a real scientist here. <laughs> but you know what I mean, man. You know what I mean? I'm not a scientist, I ain't gonna get technical about the law of physics here, but I'm basically telling you that's about a seven feet, seven foot uh, glide with that. So anyways, uh, here we go. I'm gonna do another exercise now. And this one's really good. Uh, you can do this at home, and you can also try this at the gym with heavier weights if you uh, are so inclined to do so in the future. So basically what you gotta do here is you hold this kettle, and then you go down, and come back up and bring this up. So basically you wanna put this kettle down. It's like you're putting it down and then you're lifting it back up like that. So down and up. So I'm gonna show you so you can see exactly what I'm doing from this distance. So down and up and down and up. So this is really good because you're exercising your back muscles, which is really important because you gotta have strong back muscles to support your body, your torso, your head, everything. If you have a strong foundation, then you'll you'll always be healthy. You won't, you won't, it won't be so hard to walk around. It won't be so hard to to jog if you need to. It'll be a lot, you'll feel a lot better and more confident about doing things. So there we go. I did about 10 of those. So about 10 of those is really good. You can take a break and do four sets of 10 and that will be more than enough to exercise your core and your back. Just those two exercises alone, those ones that I showed you, you know, the ones going like this, side lunges, and these are kettle, kettle squats, kettle ball squats. So you go down and up and down and up. So you wanna use, uh, and typically that's not how you'd carry something. So if you're gonna use your legs and say, for example, you're gonna pick up something, they always teach you that the proper way, you don't want to bend down to pick it up, right? That's the old way where you get injured. So the proper way is use your knees, grab it, and then pick it up. And this is so light that I'm using this to exercise the back and the shoulders right here. Shoulders, and then you're also putting pressure on your back muscles. So you're exercising those core essential muscles just by doing that. And you're exercising your thighs, and your butt muscles just to do that, right? So down and then up and then down and up. I do these in the gym and I use a, a 20 pound kettlebell for myself. So that's what I use for that. So anyways, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of uh, running short on time here. I gotta finish uh, doing a bunch of things today. I got a lot of stuff to do, um, so I, and I'm gonna go to the gym too. So I just thought I would sign on real quick, let you guys know what's going on, let you know that I didn't abandon uh, power dance aerobics. Uh, sometimes uh, my schedule as an artist, you know, these days, uh, COVID changed it, and then COVID changed it again, and then I, I was kind of getting back at it again and traveling again, and then COVID changed again. So we're, we're always on that kind of COVID clock uh, until, until we see the light of day at, at the end of this uh, pandemic, which is 
I'm guessing maybe another six months away to a year before it's a thing of the past. That's my hope anyway, that by this time next year, COVID's just like another common cold. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So anyways, uh, yeah, I might as well do one, one final dance with you just to dance it off, just to shake it off. We'll do one final victory dance here. So uh, I'll just put on uh, the powwow beats here. Okay. All right, I don't like this song. Okay. Okay, so just gonna dance it off here. One last victory song, dance. Okay. Let's enjoy this day. Because today's Friday. You got the weekend. If you worked out all week, now you can reward yourself by going out for a hike or going to do something fun for yourself. Always got to give yourself that reward for your hard work. It's like what they say in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You gotta pay yourself first, right? Before you pay everybody else. So, um, it's like the famous uh, rapper Tupac says, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. So, I think Friday is a good, a good uh, signifier to know that you worked hard all week and that you deserve to give yourself a reward to enjoy life. And that's why, Powwows are best suited on the weekends. So every weekend, somewhere in North America, there's a powwow on Friday. And that's what we look forward to as powwow people. It's part of the powwow culture. It's part of the powwow circuit. It's part of our culture and our way of life. So that's why we, when we dance, we give thanks and gratitude. As we dance, we honor the veterans, the elders, the leaders, and the future generations of our communities in the circle. And it's such a beautiful way to, to live and to aspire to be as a First Nations, as a First Nations uh, person. We all have this connection to the circle, to dance, to our culture, to our ancestors. It comes out in the drums and the songs and everything we do. It's, it's very beautiful to be part of that, that circle and, you know, it's, it's, it's something uh, that a lot of us, our indigenous powwow people out there are really passionate about. So thanks again for joining me for powwow dance aerobics and also uh, be sure to check out the uh, social distance powwow which is still going online, uh, it's an ongoing thing. So if you're looking for crafters or gift ideas for Christmas, there's a lot of uh, artisans on there that, that make stuff that's not plastic, it's real stuff, right? And maybe they use some plastic in there, but you're not buying it from China. It's just that it's indigenous made. And if you wanna gift something to your loved one this, this Christmas, there's plenty of uh, stuff on uh, the Social Distance Powwow site. So if you haven't checked it out, it's on Facebook. Just type in Social Distance Powwow and you can find it. Uh, they, very good people there. Uh, very professional site and it's really easy to navigate. So anything you're into. So if you want to watch a powwow, there's, there's a lot of powwow stuff on there. If you want to watch specific dances in powwow, it's all there. Uh, if you want to watch an actual powwow, there is virtual ones and in-person ones posted in the videos there. Uh, they're really good about uh, promoting culture, not only just the dancing of powwow, but the singing and also the storytelling, also some of the protocols and also some of the artisans that bring stuff to sell there that make stuff like the roach makers, the outfit makers, the beaters, all the people, they, they have all kinds of items there. You know, they, they even have beaded lighter cases for your lighter. They have handbags for women, uh, purses, you name it. And there's a lot of interesting stuff. They have apparel, all kinds of clothing, all kinds of uh, 
different things you can think of that are in relation to uh, you know goods and on top of that uh, the, there's uh, technology companies out there too there's indigenous technology companies there's apps there's you know it, it, there's a wide range of stuff and even this weekend if you happen to be in the Edmonton area we're having a real live market at the uh, River Cree the Enoch First Nation at the River Cree Casino and uh, I'm actually gonna probably do a broadcast about that and just maybe show you guys around there a little bit uh, so yeah and then I'm also gonna do a virtual sharing circle here very soon uh, yesterday's circle was was a success and the week before that so I'm going to continue on with that idea of doing a virtual sharing circle and uh, um, I, I think I'll, I'll touch on it a little bit this weekend as well as uh, continue it on to next week so I'm gonna try to do it a couple of times a week to just to, just to keep current and and also to hear your guys' ideas on uh, the virtual sharing circle. So thanks again for joining me. And if you, if you find this message and video of value, definitely share it with your friends far and wide. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I've, I've got a, uh, a YouTube channel as well with uh, plenty of videos there for your enjoyment. So thanks again. And you guys have a beautiful day. And we'll catch you later. All right, peace out.